Yeah. Kobe, there's been a lot of chatter about how this team scoring might be pretty balanced kind of all the way through. Is this, to, is, I know you're not going to have five guys double figures every night, but is this, is this kind of indication of what you guys were talking about with that balance? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll say perfect example. Even in our scrimmage, we had uh, pretty balanced scoring. So um, it could be anybody's night, but also we got we got guys that can kind of kind of create and hit shots, and uh, it, it's nice to have that kind of depth. It doesn't really put a lot of pressure on one person, so uh, I think that'll help us make a deep run. Kobe, um, I think we talked to you guys about the anticipation this should be a better free throw shooting team. Okay. Um, I know it's just an exhibition, just one game, but do you guys have an explanation for Yeah, I mean, I don't want to make excuses, but the ice has been down a lot, the, the background, I mean, uh, it is different, it is different, but I mean, we got to be better at the line and we will be. Uh, the more we shoot in the cold center, the, the better we'll get. So, uh, Coach Guard kept saying that we're, we're better than that, we're all capable of making 80% of our free throws, so uh, we'll, we'll definitely grow in that area. Jim in the back again. Jim and then. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, uh, that step back, is that something you added to your game here in the, uh, since last offseason? Uh, which one? The step back early in the game. Uh, the three? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, he's just closing and I don't know, it's just good rhythm shot. So, felt clean. Jim? Yeah, kind of the same thing I asked Kobe. Did, do you like this team's ability to possibly have balanced scoring um, where, where anyone could really lead you in scoring on different nights? Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, keeps the defense honest. Um, but really like this team. Kobe and Nate, you guys have both played as freshmen, although Kobe's season was cut short. But what do you think the guy sitting to your far right will be able to contribute this year as the season goes on? Um, I think all of us a lot. Uh, he's definitely much, uh, much more mature than a freshman. Uh, I've said it, he's more mature and he knows the game uh, a little bit better than I did coming in. Just the system and uh, same with Nate, Nate coming in. You kind of tell they came from the same school, but uh, uh, he learns really fast and he works really hard uh, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to help us win. So uh, you can always use a guy like that on your team. Uh, yeah, I mean, he may not score the most points but as you can see he can fill up the stat sheet and whether it shows up in the stat sheet or not he, he knows how to play and he's doing everything right for kobe and Nate again kind of not related to the game but the t-shirts you guys wore before and the little patches yeah i i think everybody knows understands what coach Moore means to you, but can you guys just address that decision to, to honor him in that way and, and what that means to you guys um, it was definitely something that we all wanted to do as a group. Uh, um, he's re he recruited all of us. Uh, I've known him. He's been I've been close with him since I got here, and I know they have too. So uh, you never want to see something like that happen. But I mean, any way to keep him as close as close to us as possible, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So that's what that patch and that warm up kind of did, and uh, we're gonna continue to wear that for the rest of the year. So yeah, and we had uh, drill in the locker room today, and. I mean, I think that's really cool for him to see the love and support, not just from the team, but also just everyone in the arena too. So. Was he shooting pregame? Yeah, he was, he was shooting around pregame. Ball was hitting mine a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Question in the back. Uh, for Kobe and Nate, uh, camp has been probably long. You got this one. Now you got to hit the hit things uh, full speed. So are you guys ready to, to get it going? Um, I think we're ready. Uh, yeah, like you said, camp's long. So you're kind of going five on five against the same guys every day. It gets a little repetitive, even though uh, that's what you have to do to get better. But uh, it's nice to get out and, and play against other guys. Um, so I think just as a unit, we've kind of taken that step forward. Uh, really improved a lot since the red and white scrimmage. And I think we're, we're ready for the regular season to compete against uh, uh, some of the best programs in the country. Uh, I just think it's it's great. We get a chance to play these games. Um, I mean, it just kind of shows us the things we need to work on. So that therefore we are ready when we tip off against St. Mary's in our first game.
Tyler, talk about your your experience here and your first game out on the Cole Center floor. Um, I would say in the beginning I was kind of nervous. Nerves were running high, but once I first couple minutes went by, I kind of felt in sync and started playing how I was practicing, just in the flow of everything. Any more questions for the players? Thanks, fellas.